3,000 or 4,000 people crossing illegally a day. For the past three days, there's an average of just three people. Well, a battle over whether individual states can take matters into their own hands when it comes to border security. Texas officials say they will hold the line. Federal officials say Texas should allow them full access to this park. They mean that the system allows in far too many people who should not be here under any definition of the law. Is to hold the Biden administration accountable to the laws that exist on the books in the United States of America. Supreme Court's emergency order. All right, now picture this. The Supreme Court drops a shocker, and it's not just any shocker. It's a 5-4 to four decision that's got everyone talking. First off, this rule pulled the rug out from under... This rule pulled the rug out from under a temporary injunction regarding border security. You know, that whole shebang about the government cutting down wires along the Texas border? Yeah, that's the one. So imagine Texas throwing a fit over Uncle Sam messing with its fences, and then the Supreme Court swoops in and says, Nah, it's all good. Snip away, folks. Now this ain't just about some wires getting clipped, oh no. It's become a full-blown Texas-sized showdown between the Lone Star State and the Biden administration. Think of it as a heavyweight boxing match with Governor Abbott in one corner flexing his state's constitutional muscles and President Biden in the other waving around federal authority like it's a championship belt. And let me tell you, this ain't just about wires and fences. It's got everyone and their grandma talking about constitutional rights. 3,000 or 4,000 people crossing illegally a day. For the past three days, there's an average of just three people. The migration that we're seeing happening at the border right now is unsustainable. We are not managing it. And I want to talk about another top issue, the border. I love how I turn on and Biden. Then surrounded by miles of razor wire, just like this, and there's armed Texas National Guard. You see, when the Supreme Court drops a ruling like this, it's like a ripple effect. Suddenly, folks start questioning what it means for states' rights versus federal power. Are we seeing a shift in how the Constitution is interpreted? Who knows? But it's got constitutional scholars and armchair pundits alike scratching their heads. But here's the kicker. This ain't some legal mumbo-jumbo for law nerds to argue about. Oh no. This ruling has real-world consequences. It's affecting immigration policy, border security measures, and heck, it's even stirring up political pot shots left and right. So the next time, so the next time you hear about a five to four Supreme Court decision, remember it's not just about fancy ropes and gavels. It's about the heart and soul of our nation's laws. But our CBS cameras were there when they caught Texas National Guardsmen laying out more wire. Greg Abbott is once again challenging federal authorities on the border. He's saying Texas has a right to self-defense. Are rebounding after plunging in January. We saw a record influx in illegal crossings in December. Biden's for a free and open border. Just tear down everything. Let everybody come. No restrictions. Governor Abbott's response. All righty, buckle up, guys, because Governor Abbott ain't holding back. When he caught wind of the Supreme Court's ruling, he didn't just sit back and twiddle his thumbs. He came out swinging like a Texas tornado. First off, he's all about waving that big old Texas flag of states' rights. He's like, hey y'all, according to the U.S. Constitution, Texas has the right to defend itself plain and simple. And you can bet your boots he's not about to let anyone forget it. So what's a cowboy governor to do when Uncle Sam starts poking around his backyard? Well, he calls in the cavalry, of course. That's right, he rang up the Texas National Guard faster than you can say yee-haw, and he's got those boys and girls securing the border like it's the Alamo all over again. But here's where it gets spicy. When the fence start throwing shade and threatening to federalize the National Guard, what does Abba do? Does he back down? Heck no. He doubles down on defiance, telling Washington to take a hike and reminding them of their own constitutional duties. And let's not forget his favorite pastime, pointing fingers. Yep, you guessed it. He's pointing those big calloused fingers right at the Biden administration, accusing them of dropping the ball on their constitutional responsibilities faster than you can say don't mess with Texas. So the next time you're wondering what Governor Abbott's up to, just remember, he's not just fighting for Texas, he's fighting for what he believes is right, even when it means staring down the big dogs in D.C. On the Rio Grande, it is now the new battleground between the state of Texas and the federal government. They mean that 
the system allows in far too many people who should not be here under any definition of the law. Critical issue right now because we're testing really the essence of the Republic of the United States. Governor Greg Abbott is of course taking credit for this dramatic shift in crossings here in Texas, the drop here. Border dispute case. All right, let's dive deeper into the wild west of this border dispute saga. Imagine the Texas border stretched out like a lone cowboy guarding his homestead and then picture Uncle Sam riding on his high horse ready to stir up trouble. So here's the lowdown. It all starts with some serious beef over the cutting of Constantina wire along the Texas border. Texas ain't too pleased about it and they're not about to let Uncle Sam trample over their turf without a fight. So they do what any self-respecting Texan would do. They haul the feds into court. Now Texas isn't just throwing around accusations willy-nilly, oh no. They're leveling some serious accusations here. They're alleging trespass, claiming that Uncle Sam's border patrol is stomping around where they aren't supposed to be. And they're citing violations of the Administration Procedures Act, like saying, hey, you can't just go around snipping wires without following proper procedures. And wouldn't you know it, the courts get involved faster than a jackrabbit on a hot summer's day. First, they hit Uncle Sam with some temporary restraining orders, like a sheriff saying, hold your horses, partner, think this through. These orders put the brakes on any further wire cutting antics while the legal wrangling gets underway. But that ain't the end of it, guys. Nay, oh, nay. The courts decide to up the ante with some preliminary injunctions. The Supreme Court ruled in favor of the Biden administration in Texas saying that the razor wire and the other actions that his state is taking to deter illegal crossings. To see our reforms to make the majority of people who come here legally as immigrants come because our economy needs them. Is to hold the Biden administration accountable to the laws that exist on the books in the United States of America. These bad boys basically say, stop right there, Uncle Sam, and don't you dare touch those wires until we've had a chance to sort this mess out. It's like a legal version of drawing a line in the sand and daring anyone to cross it. Now you might be thinking, what's the big deal about a few wires? Well, let me tell you, this ain't just about some spools of metal. This is about states' rights, federal authority, and the age-old struggle between the lone cowboy and the big bad government. And with the court stepping into the ring, you can bet your boots this ain't the last we'll hear of this Texas-sized showdown. Legal Proceedings and Appeals Alright, so let's dive into the legal roller coaster that's been unfolding faster than you can say objection. Strap in guys, because this courtroom drama is just getting started. First up, we've got the lower courts throwing down the gauntlet with a temporary restraining order. Picture it like a judge slamming down the gavel and saying, haul your horses Uncle Sam, we need to sort this mess out before you go snipping any wires. It's a momentary pause in the chaos, giving both sides a chance to catch their breath. But then, just when you think you've got it all figured out, the plot thickens. The lower courts come back and say, sorry Texas, no dice, denying their request for a preliminary injunction. Now this ain't just a slap on the wrist, it's like a punch in the gut, leaving Texas reeling and scrambling for their next move. But fear not, because here comes the cavalry, or in this case, the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals. They swoop in with an emergency injunction like a sheriff riding into town to restore order. It's a temporary reprieve maintaining the status quo until the higher-ups can weigh in on the matter. And weigh in they do with the Supreme Court dropping a shocker that's got everyone talking. Their order overturns the emergency injunction giving the federal government the green light to proceed with their wire-cutting antics. It's like a plot twist you never saw coming, leaving Texas and their legal team scrambling to regroup. A meaningful impact in deterring migrants from coming to the U.S., but the story is obviously more complicated than that. Thousands of people crossing the border in, in a mad rush. I also posted video showing the Texas National Guard reinforcing barriers along the Rio Grande and Eagle Pass. Texas officials say they will hold the line. Federal officials say Texas should allow them full access to this park. Tensions and political implications. Hold on to your hats, guys, because we're diving into the fiery furnace of ongoing tensions and political implications that's hotter than a Texas barbecue on the 4th of July. Get ready for a wild ride. First off, we've got tensions reaching a boiling point between Texas and the Biden administration. 
It's like a high-stakes game of poker with Governor Abbott and President Biden squaring off over the border like two gunslingers at high noon. Every move is calculated, every word is loaded, and the stakes couldn't be higher. But this ain't just about Texas throwing its weight around, nah, nah, nah. It's a showdown that's shaking the very foundations of states' rights and federal authority. It's like the age-old struggle between the little guy and the big bad government, with Texas waving the flag of sovereignty while Uncle Sam tries to assert its dominance. And let's not forget the ripple effect this whole mess is having on immigration policy and border security measures. It's like a domino effect, with every decision and ruling sending shockwaves through the system. Will we see stricter immigration policies? More border security measures? Only time will tell, but one thing's for sure. The fallout from this showdown will be felt far and wide. Now to the standoff between the federal government and the state of Texas at the southern border. Federal government at the southern border, it continues. The state appearing to stand against the feds. For one, as governor of the state of Texas, I have uh, the authority to control ingress and egress. Uh, to any land in the state of Texas. Well, a battle over whether individual states can take matters into their own hands when it comes to border security. But perhaps most intriguing of all is the glimpse we're getting into the inner workings of the Supreme Court and the broader political landscape. It's like peeling back the layers of an onion with each ruling and dissent revealing deeper divisions and power struggles. Who's on whose side? Who's pulling the strings behind the scenes? It's a drama worthy of its own reality TV show, and we're all glued to the edge of our seats, waiting to see what happens next. So there you have it, a power keg of escalating tensions, constitutional showdowns, and political intrigue that's got everyone talking. From the halls of power in Washington to the dusty plains of Texas, this showdown is shaping up to be one for the history books. And with the fate of immigration policy and states' rights hanging in the balance, you can bet we'll be watching every twist and turn with bated breath. And that's going to do it for this video, guys. See you next time, and bye for now.